The Kasese district in the southwestern part of Uganda has been chosen by WWF as a clean energy champion district. The area lies at the foot of the snow-capped Ravensori Mountains, surrounded by three wildlife protected areas of local and international importance. The area suffers from devastating environmental challenges that include, among others, deforestation, reduction in water quality and loss of important wildlife species, mainly driven by the population's massive use of firewood and charcoal that at the moment meets 90% of the energy consumption needs in the district. The glaciers that once crowned the peaks of the mountains are now melting away at an alarming rate due to global warming. If we don't conserve the environment, then the simple answer is we are going to die. By choosing Kasese as a champion district, WWF has proclaimed its ambition of making clean energy available to all of the rural population in Kasese by the year 2020. That's 10 years ahead of the 2030 Global Energy Access Goal set by the United Nations. WWF is pushing on to increase the momentum. If we don't do this in 25 years, all trees in this country will be totally lost, except those in the national parks. That the current level of is only 7% accessing hydropower, electricity. So we, to talk about moving from, from 7% to 100% access is a huge, huge challenge. Clean energy will not simply pop up in the countryside by itself. To develop sustainable energy solutions and attract investment, it's necessary to develop innovative business models that will allow the rural population to invest in better and cleaner solutions before it's too late. WWF does this by working with local social entrepreneurial businesses such as Barefoot Power Uganda Limited, which is designing and manufacturing solar lightning technology products specifically for poor people in developing countries. In the Champion District, WWF together with Barefoot Power Uganda Limited, collaborate with local savings groups to provide loans for small-scale solar solutions for villages in the mountains. The challenge has been to allow the poor rural population to save enough money to invest in clean energy solutions, but by drawing inspiration from traditional savings and loan groups, WWF and Barefoot Power Uganda have installed the first solar power panels already. WWF is also working with local NGOs with special knowledge, such as the Joint Energy and Environment Project, JEEP, to disseminate energy-saving cookstoves. So far, 900 people have been trained, and over 2,500 energy-saving stoves have been constructed, equal to an annual saving of a total of 80,000 trees. WWF is also working with the Danish network Access to Innovation that combines the knowledge of NGOs with university researchers and private companies in order to develop clean energy solutions that are based on financially sustainable, replicable and cost-effective business models such as solar hops and waste management. The environmental issues are global issues. If they keep on you know, harvesting the forest, then there will be no life here. So and there will be no air for us either in the north. So we are actually helping each other. Building awareness in the population is absolutely vital to make the project come true. WWF is working closely with local authorities, civil society organizations, academia, private businesses and, importantly, the Ravensarura Kingdom. His Majesty has uh, requested all his subjects to support tree planting to support the use of the renewable energy so that we cut on the impact on the climate in order to save our kingdom. Now that His Majesty the Omusinga has already given out this instruction to all the subjects, I feel it is an end point and that all of us as his subjects we really obey and we shall go to that. What I'm expecting to come out of this project is a well-informed society and uh, better course livelihood 
and a great example to the whole nation and probably to the world, especially in Africa.